for the second home Premier League game in succession, Burnley squandered a two-goal lead as West Brom earned a 2-2 draw. Burnley threw away a two-goal advantage for the second Premier League home game in a row as West Brom fought back to clinch a 2-2 draw. Last time out at Turf Moor, Sean Dyche's side went 2-0 up only to lose 3-2 to Crystal Palace, and it was a similar story against Tony Pula's men on Sunday. First half headers from Ashley Barnes and Danny Ings put the home side firmly in control, until Chris Brunt reduced the lead from a corner on the stroke of halftime. Another set piece proved Burnley's downfall midway through the second period as substitute Brown I die glanced home Brunt's delivery. For West Brom, captained by Darren Fletcher on debut following a move from Manchester United, it was a positive response to last week's 3 0 defeat by Tottenham, though Pula's benched side of Birhino following comments in the week about his future at the club. The point takes Burnley back out of the bottom three after Hull City had displaced the club on Saturday but with a tough run of fixtures to come, Deitch will see this as a huge opportunity lost. Burnley, which named the same starting 11 for the 10th league game in succession, had the better of the opening exchanges with Ings firing over before Ben Foster produced a superb one-handed save to tip Scott Arfield's effort onto the crossbar. Burnley's pressure paid off in the 11th minute as it broke the deadlock. Arfield headed the ball into the path of Ings, and his hooked cross found strike partner Barnes who nodded in from six yards. Birhino, who attracted attention in midweek when he suggested he could move away from West Brom at the end of the season, was soon summoned into the action due to an injury to Victor Anik. The visiting side managed to get something of a foothold in the game but Burnley doubled the lead in the 32nd minute thanks to its top scorer. A clever dummy from Kieran Trippier down the right-hand side released George Boyd, whose inviting cross was met by a powerful Ings header, leaving Foster stranded. Just when it seemed the home side would reach the interval with a comfortable lead, Brunt lost his man at a corner and headed Callum McManaman's delivery in off the bar from close range. Brunt then turned provider for the equaliser. Sending in a corner from the right that half time substitute I die flicked home, having escaped the attentions of David Jones. Jolien Lescott headed Jason Shackell's effort off the line, while Gareth McCauley was fortunate to see a handball in his own penalty area go unpunished. Birhano was almost the hero for Albion in the dying moments, but Tom Heaton and Ben Mee combined to keep him out and prevent Burnley from capitulating fully on home turf again. 